In August 2005, one of the deadliest hurricanes in U.S. history struck New Orleans. Hurricane Katrina caused canals and levee walls to fail and sent stormwater rushing into many areas of the city, killing hundreds and causing billions of dollars in damage. Some of the worst destruction occurred when Katrina sent a surge of water from Lake Pontchartrain into a waterway called the Inner Harbor Navigation Canal. The canal's walls failed, causing flooding in the city's Lower Ninth Ward. As part of the federal government's effort to prevent damage from future storms, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers proposed to construct a massive floodgate at the canal's mouth on Lake Pontchartrain that would connect to a levee system ringing the city. These gates were designed to close to protect the city from a hurricane. The facility includes a sector gate that swings to close at its center, and one lift gate that moves vertically on each side. The Corps sought a construction contractor to improve the project and cut its cost by collaborating with the engineers designing the gate complex. Al Barisi was selected and in early 2010 began working with design firm Arcadis and the Army Corps of Engineers. Working under the early contractor involvement method, Al Barisi proposed the innovative solution of using a temporary rock dike to slow the fast flowing tidal currents in the canal. Alberisi also proposed to reuse rock from the dike to create a scour protection barrier on the canal bottom. The Corps of Engineers approved the temporary dike, which significantly reduced the project's cost and schedule. The dike permitted Alberisi to install a circular cell coffer dam and construct the gate foundation in dry conditions on the canal bottom. This reduced the quantity of concrete required for the project by 25,000 cubic yards. The project, which included construction of flood walls, eventually reached a peak of about 175 employees on site. One of the decisions we made early on, and it turned out to be the right decision, is we brought a lot of manpower from St. Louis and Detroit and some of our key employees down to New Orleans to supplement the local workforce. Back in St. Louis, Alberici Structural Steel Division, Hillsdale Fabricators, finalized the design of the steel gates to be installed in the flood control structure. Hillsdale's qualified steel workers began constructing the gates. In New Orleans, with the cofferdam complete, Alberici pumped water out and helped the Corps of Engineers rescue fish trapped inside the cofferdam. With the construction area dry, pilings were driven and the concrete foundation of the structure was placed. In September 2011, Tropical Storm Lee hit New Orleans. Alberici quickly moved equipment to high ground and evacuated all workers before the storm arrived. The storm flooded the cofferdam. We had waves of water toppling over the cofferdam, and we lost 17 days in our schedule working around the clock to clean up all the, uh, the water and the mud and the debris from Tropical Storm Lee. Alberici overcame the scheduled delay and prepared for installation of the steel gates. With a concrete structure nearly complete, Alberici used 3D laser scanning to make precise measurements to ensure the gates would operate as planned. Once the steel gate components were fabricated in St. Louis, Alberici transported them to its port facility on the Mississippi River for assembly. The completed gates were then placed on barges and shipped downriver to New Orleans. The fact that we kept the gate fabrication in-house and did it with our own people and barged, barged the gates down here, uh, we were able to maintain a, a very aggressive schedule. First, the two lift gates on the sides of the structure were set in place, each weighing 124 tons. Finally, in March 2012, the two massive sector gates at the structure center were installed. Each sector gate weighs 222 tons. By May, the facility was operational and ready to protect the city. This project is very personal to the people who live in this area, um, specifically this neighborhood, but all of New Orleans. So everybody had a vested interest in knowing when is it going to be complete and what is going on. And so it was very important that we maintain the expectations of the contract and the client. In September 2012, three months after Alberici completed the Seabrook Gate Complex, Hurricane Isaac struck New Orleans. Alberici crews closed the gate structure before the storm, and it successfully withstood the storm surge. 
Media coverage of the project was intense, and the Army Corps of Engineers responded to many questions about the project. This gate reduces the risk for the folks in the Lower Ninth Ward, uh, Orleans East, uh, and obviously the Orleans metro area, which were in fact uh, some of the most damaged uh, during Hurricane Katrina. The entire Albarisi team shared a strong sense of commitment to the project. Working on this uh, Army Corps of Engineers operation here to help with the uh, hurricane protection is very exciting and uh, something I'll be very proud of for the rest of my life and I tell my children about that we were able to you know, help secure this city. 